Hello mga kawawmats! Sa video lesson na to, kailangan nyo na mamaster na competency ay to represent a quadratic function using equation. Review muna tayo about quadratic equation. So sa mga nakaraing video lesson natin, a quadratic equation in one variable is a second degree equation that can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are real numbers. So let's try to review. Write each quadratic equation in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Then, identify the values of a, b, and c. For number 1, x squared plus 9x is equal to negative 8. So as you can see, hindi pa siya in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So ang una natin gagawin using the addition property of equality. So let's add positive 8 on both sides of the equation. So mag a tayo ng positive 8 sa bawat side ng equation. So after that, so, magiging x squared plus 9x plus 8 is equal to negative 8 plus 8. And then, x squared plus 9x plus 8 and negative 8 plus 8, it is equal to 0. So, ito ay nasa form na ng ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, madali na sa atin kunin yung value ng a, b, and c. So, you, the value of a is 1. The value of b is positive 9 and the value of c is positive 8. Another, 5 plus 2x squared is equal to negative 9x minus 5. So, una natin gagawin. So, arrange muna natin yung uh, nasa left side natin. So, dapat mauna yung uh, may pinakamataas na exponent. So, 2x squared plus 5 is equal to negative 9x minus 5. So, para maging 0 itong nasa right side natin, so, isa-isahin natin, ilipat dito si, uh, you know, we're going to add first positive 9x sa both side natin. So, mag-add muna tayo ng positive 9x sa both side natin, sa both side ng equation. So, magiging 2x squared plus 9x. So, dito, ko na, nila, dito na natin ilagay sa gitna. Plus 5 is equal to negative 9x plus 9x minus 5. So, Kung pag nag-add ka dito sa left side, mag-add ka rin dito sa right side. And after that, so, negative 9x plus 9x, 0 na. So, ang maiwan na lang is negative 5. So, dapat 0 yung nasa right side natin. Kaya mag-add ulit tayo ng positive 5 on both sides of the equation. So, 2x squared plus 9x plus 5 plus 5 is equal to negative 5 plus 5. So, ang magiging equation na natin is in the form of two, uh, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And that is 2x squared plus 9x plus 10 is equal to 0. So, therefore, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 9, and c is equal to 10. So, so tatanda natin, kapag hindi pa naka-standard form, so hindi pa natin pwede kunin yung values ng a, b, and c. Okay, you try to determine whether each of the following is a quadratic function or not. Okay, so for number one, so it's not a quadratic function. So ito yung mga quadratic function ng natin. Yung may mga check. Okay, bakit kaya ito ay quadratic function? So, using FOIL method, maging ganito yan. Y is equal to x squared plus x minus 6. And also this one. So, ito yung mga quadratic function. Bakit? So, didiscuss natin sa next slide natin. So, when you say quadratic function, it is a function that can be written in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are real numbers and a not equal to 0 and a should not be equal to 0 kasi kapag nag 0 yung a natin or yung quadratic term natin so ibig sabihin hindi na siya quadratic dahil exponent of the variable is 2 hence it is called a second degree function its graph is parabola okay so ang pinakamataas lang na exponent ng quadratic function is 2 so kapag nag 3 yan or more than 2 at less than 2, ibig sabihin, hindi siya quadratic functions. 
So like for example, write the equation in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c and identify the values of a, b, and c. For y is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1. So as you can see, uh, yung given naman natin is in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So mas madali na natin kunin yung values ng a, b, and c. So a is equal to 1 b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to positive 1. And another, y is equal to x squared. So, a is equal to 1. So, since ito yung quadratic term natin, and then wala tayong linear term and constant. So, ito yung linear term natin sa constant. So, therefore, yung b natin is equal to 0, and yung c natin ay equal to 0 then. Next y is equal to 2x times the quantity of x minus 3 plus 15. So, anong una muna yung gagawin dyan? Dapat kailangan in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c yung equation natin. Since meron tayo nito, so kailangan natin i-distribute muna yung 2x sa loob ng uh, parenthesis natin or i-multiply natin si 2x kay x minus 3. So, that First, 2x times x, that is 2x squared, and then 2x times negative 3, that is negative 6x, and then copy positive 15. So, uh, wala na tayong aayusin dyan, so naka-arrange na yung equation natin at in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c na, so therefore, makukuha na natin yung values ng a, b, and c. So, a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to 15. Another, y is equal to x plus 3 times x minus 2. So, very familiar kayo sa paggamit ng FOIL method. So, yun ang gagawin nyo kapag may ganito kayong uh, given. So, first, multiply the first term. x times x, that is x squared. And then the outer term, x times negative 2, that is negative 2x. And the inner term, 3 times x, that is positive 3x. And then, the last term, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And after that, combine the similar term. So, pagsamahin natin si negative 2x and positive 3x. So, copy x squared. Copy x squared. Negative 2x plus 3x is positive x and copy negative 6. So, as you can see, in the form of y is equal to x squared plus bx plus c na yan. So, madali na natin kunin yung values ng a, b, and c. So, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to negative 6. Another example, y is equal to x minus 4 squared plus 8. So, ang gagawin muna natin, i-multiply muna natin si x minus 4 sa ng dalawang beses, no? So, that will become x minus 4 times x minus 4 plus 8. So, kanina, gamit si FOIL method, so yun din ang gawin nyo. x times x, that is x squared. So, x times negative 4, that is negative 4x. Negative 4 times x, that is negative 4x. And negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Copy, positive 8. And then, combine similar terms. So, copy x squared, since wala naman tayong kasama dyan na mayroong exponent na 2. So, copy x squared. And then, negative 4x minus 4x, that is negative 8x. And then, 16 plus 8, that is 24. So, ito na yung uh, in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Therefore, the values of a is 1, b is negative 8, and c is 24. Okay, it's about to test yourself. So I'll give you five questions, and uh, this is a multi. This the I, these questions have uh, choices. So pwede yung uh, sundan or sagutan rin, no? What kind of function negative four plus y is equal to x plus two squared if simplified? A linear function. B Rational function, C, quadratic function, and D, exponential function. So the answer is, 
letter C, quadratic function. Next, which of the following is a quadratic function? A, y is equal to 2 raised to x plus 5. B, y is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5. C, y is equal to 1 plus 2x plus x squared. And D, y is equal to x to the fourth minus 16. So the answer is letter C, y. So siya lang yung in degree of 2 kasi si A, yung exponent natin is variable. So uh, pwedeng any uh, number ang pwedeng mo ma-substitute dyan. So sa B naman, so ang highest degree natin is 3. Sa D, ang highest degree natin is 4. Next, number 3. In quadratic function, in form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, which of the following must not be equal to 0? Letter A, so the A variable, or that is the quadratic term. B, okay, the linear term. C is the constant. And D is the X term. So, the answer is letter A. So, yung A natin sa quadratic term dapat hindi maging 0. Kasi kapag naging 0 yung quadratic term natin, magiging linear function na lang yung equation natin. Using quadratic function in the form Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C, which of the following are the values of A, B, and C of the function y is equal to x minus 2 times x plus 4? Letter A, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, C is equal to negative 8. B, A is equal to 1, B is equal to negative 2, and C is equal to negative 8. C, A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 8. And D, a is equal to 1, B is equal to negative 2, and C is equal to positive 8. So first, uh, kunin nyo muna yung uh, using FOIL method, yung x minus 2 times x plus 4. So dapat naka in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So the answer is letter A. Last. Express y equals to 3x times x minus 1 minus 3x plus 7 in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. A. Y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 7. B. x squared minus 6x minus 7. And C. Is y is equal to 3x squared plus 6x plus 7. And letter D. Y is equal to 3x squared minus 6x minus 7. So the answer here is letter D. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.